<laughs> what are they looking at? What? Spirit Spring ahead. I'm not really sure what Spirit Spring is. Yeah, Grace ahead, I can see it. Mount Gilmer. I don't think... Oh, wow. for the physics. I actually wasn't expecting it to work like that. But good that it did. Very good. avoid this guys do I need to kill you uh, yeah I probably just keep you guys sorry about that yeah yeah you can drop all you want okay how, how deers live here with all these zombies? Like, are they not afraid? Still fire and then time to sleep. What? Okay, that's a weird thing, these geysers, geysers. Okay, grace ahead. Anything interesting out here? No, I guess not. Ah. Okay, let's check the fort. Sir, or oh, madam, oh wow, this is a fire monk, huh, cool, mm -hmm. no pair ahead, um, sick, cramped, a oh, what? Uh, okay. This is going to be, um... Interesting. Ah, 
Uh, no, never mind. Okay, guys, I already defeated you, so no need to repeat that, I think. Hmm. Into an interesting place. Oh, hello. Draconic power, that's cool. Praise the horse, indeed. Alexander. Ah, good sir. What business might you have in such a place as this? I hardly think you're here to temper yourself with flame, considering that mm -hmm. <laughs> your timing, though, is impeccable as ever. I've been making just the thing for you on my journey here. Take it. I'm sure it'll suit you to a tea. Jar? But, uh, it's hardly more than lukewarm here. I won't be able to temper my body such that it'll never crack again. Perhaps I'll head eastward. There's an old saying I've caught wind of. Above the lofty clouds, the icy giant's peak doth soar. Here lieth the flame of ruin, which ever burning rules. Hmm. Come on. Maggie, really? Again, I'm not very proud of this. Oh, nice memory stone. Hello there.
Comet Azul, nice. Try sorcery. What is this place? Uh, okay. Right running. That's counterintuitive for me. Come on. I didn't see you in the dark, man. And that's basically all there is to it. the throat. Ah. Chariots. Very annoying. Rainbow stones lead the way to riches. Oh, okay. Rainbow stones. Hey, hey. Uh, 
Where is the next one? Is it down there? Uh, what? Well, if you really are that gullible, classic. Then stay away from the volcano manor. <laughs> I should have killed this guy. Bye now. Take care. I was already here, right? These are the basilisks I killed before. Uh. Okay. Yeah, that's that's like this thing. Okay. Which grace is that? Um... Well... Let's see... Whoa... That's fine, that's fine. Oh, come on. Let's pull once again. Okay, I got that. Let's try a different approach. Where are my souls? Oh, did I drop those? Oh, that's unfortunate.
Come on, throw the aggro. Okay, that didn't work that well. Draw the aggro. Draw the aggro. <laughs> That's fun. Now, where are my souls? Oh, right there. What the hell? Okay. Okay, this guy is again here. But we now know that he's not that cool. What? Nice. I should have finished him from the... from the distance. Okay, that's better. Let's go into the manor. We rarely receive visitors to the Volcano Manor without invitation. Fascinating. And not unlike another guest we had long ago. So tarnished. Have you ever harbored doubts about the burden of grace and the dogmatic ramblings of the fingers? If you have, why not join the Volcano Manor and fight with us, rise with us, Against the Erd Tree. Against the Erd Tree. Your decision is most welcome. Now you belong to the Volcano Manor family. The drawing room lies down the hall. Make yourself comfortable. I am Tanith, the proprietress of this house. An honor to have you. <laughs>
creepy place. Hello, Raya. as well I see then we're comrades in arms henceforth you watch my back and I'll watch yours yes I um, I can tell you're wondering about Lanya well you see I after much internal debate I've come to realize revenge is not the answer according to Lady Tanith I've got the stuff of champions and champions, ironic as it is, are oft forced to walk a tainted path. It hit me like a bolt from the blue, that my former thoughts were simple naivety. Of course my heart weeps for Lanya. That unfortunate incident was a cruel twist of fate indeed. But succumbing to the pain and sadness caused won't make me a champion, will it? Lanya knows this, I'm certain. Fate has laid hard roads for us both. But such is true of any road trod by champions. I always resented these hands, their pale complexion. A far cry from any warriors. The shame of House Hoslo. But that won't be the case for long. They'll be darkened by grit once I've set out on the path of champions. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood after all. Hello again. Brave tarnished. It is a shame that I did not beckon you here with my own hand, but I am pleased that we meet again. Here, at the Volcano Manor, under Lady Tanith's guidance, may you tread the path of valor. So, the path of blasphemy. So I would assume that this means that. It's one of the endings. Did you read the letter left for you? That is the task the Volcano Manor desires you enact. You will be compensated once the deed is done. Good luck. If no, I didn't. If your own kin, so be it. But you must leave this house at once. This is a war against the Erd Tree. We have no place for the meek. Nor the luxury of keeping clean hands. Okay. Old Knight Istvan in grave. Someone please kill him. That horrendous serpent. Rita Rikard. Hmm. You're tarnished. Here to put the demigods to the sword. Then please, kill the great serpent. The one that devoured Prater Rikard. I left the serpent slaying spear in the Lord's chamber. Worthy tarnished. Brandish the spear and run him through. The great serpent. That unspeakable monstrosity. Pray to Rikard's ambitions, though blasphemous. Marked him a worthy sovereign, but they were reduced in gluttonous depravity. Once he gave himself to the serpent, whatever that thing is, it is no longer Praetor Rikard. Mm -hmm. Someone must kill him to spare him and his ambitions from further dishonor. Okay, let's see. Ah, I'm 
Okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. So it's only good for the first attack. That's fine. I was just interested. Well, let's do it the old way. completed your task. I am pleased. Now you are a recusant true, and a full-fledged member of the Volcano Manor. This is your reward, as promised. Never forget that the recusant fights to tread the path of the champion. The way is tainted, but for this very reason, it is the true path to valor. Oh, hey, Patches. Well, you joined the manor, huh? I don't believe it. Didn't think you had it in you. All good, though. We're on the same side now. We'll do good work together. Oh, and of course, we can do business, if you like. Patches Emporium at the Volcano Manor. Especially for you. Are you surprised that I belong to the Volcano Manor? I always hated the gibberish about Lost Grace and the laughable Two Fingers. I thought I could lend a hand in unmasking the charade. Not to mention, Tanith has always made me curious. I guess her master must really be something, because she's pretty damn smug about it. Even after announcing her blasphemous ambitions, she still stands proud. I've never seen a woman quite like her. Cheers for that! Have you ever heard any strange sounds here at the manor? Something beyond the walls? Like breathing or... Slithering scales. Yeah. Oh, fie, what am I saying? It just is impossible. I must be tired. Sometimes I hear strange sounds beyond the walls. Oh, that's snails. Like breathing. Oh. Okay, I guess this is a new request. Altus Plateau, Rayleth the Idol. Oh, hello there, Ray. Brave Tarnished, what is your business here? I'm afraid this is not a guest room. What's that peculiar look upon your face? Goodness, am I still a serpent? Oh, how dreadful. How dreadful indeed. Oh, forgive my distress. I ought to be thanking you for treating me as usual. Despite this appearance, Brave Tarnished, this is my true form. My real name is Zarias. Please forgive the deception. Do understand. This duplicity is my own doing. Lady Tanith speaks no falsehoods. And the Volcano Manor is just as it seems. <laughs> Lady Tanith is my mother. I am told I was born by the grace of a glorious king. That my mother cherishes this form I inhabit. I am proud of what I am. But people are cruel. 
If they saw my true form, they wouldn't speak to me. And so, I assume a guise when seeking new recruits. But you are not like the rest. My serpentine form and the name Zarias were secrets known only to Lady Tanith and I. Now I share the secrets with you as well. Please keep them safe from anyone else. Okay. Now you are a re I am pleased. Did you see her? The girl, Raya, with her true face. Mm. Well, if she confided in you the name Zarias, then perhaps it is not my place to speak. But as her adoptive mother, I ask of you, please be kind to her. Look after young Zarias. Her true visage belies the purity of her heart. Honestly, I hardly deserve the sweet child. Where exactly he is? Uh... Yeah, okay, there it is. Yeah, this was an interesting guy. Ah, it's you, is it? I'm terribly sorry. But would you mind giving me some time to myself? I haven't achieved anything at all thus far. Even though I've dirtied my hands time and time again, I'm still yet to achieve anything. Perhaps I am a fool after all. No, it's worse than that. As things stand, I've given up on the path of revenge and sullied the name of my house. What an easy mark I must have been. How did it take me so long to realize, honestly? There's just no end to my foolishness, is there? Um... Oh! It's you! Forgive me. My mind never ceases to turn of late. Hmm... Well... I know I can trust you. I saw something... Slithering in the pitch black of night it entered the room next to this one and never came out if i'm not mistaken it took the form of a serpent just like me does the volcano manor hide some secret that lady tanith has kept from me i realize that i shouldn't impose but if you discover anything would you please share I see you've performed another task for us. Here is your usual reward. Please, take it. Serpent bone blade. Now, perhaps the time has come to tell you of the true ruler of this manor, Lord Rikard. The Erd Tree blessed the tarnished with grace. But it was all too meager in the face of the enormity of their task. The tarnished were forced to scavenge, squabbling for crumbs, like the shard bearers vying for power in the wake of the shattering. Our lord, indignant, has refused to scurry about, fighting over what miserly scraps they allow us. If the Erd Tree, and indeed the very gods, 
would debase us so, then we are willing to raise the banner of resistance, even if it means heresy. We at the Volcano Manor, under Lord Rikard, have sworn no rest until it is done. If you follow this heroic path, one day the Lord will see you. The Lord's visits with our champions are always a spectacle. It cannot come a day too soon. <laughs> she said that to you. I should have known something was wrong. The signs were clear enough. Well, Zarias has placed her trust in you. All the more reason I must tell you that some things are better left unknown. Besides, no one should be blamed for their heritage. Think about it. We are resisting the ways of the Erd Tree itself. What matters one's lineage in such a crisis? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Red letter. Red letter, red letter. Final request. Twin Hostel, Knight of Blood, Juno. Mountain tops of the giants. Okay. Before we continue into the dungeon, let's do one more thing. Oh, first of all, I now can, uh, I think, proceed with this guy's request, right? Oh, Lampkin, so pleased you're here. I'm glad that you're enjoying my gift. Hmm, I knew it from the very start. You have a taste for noble blood. <clears throat> I wish to anoint you a proper inductee. A knight to serve Luminary Moog, the Lord of Blood, and establish a new dynasty. Luminary Moog has strength, vision, and of course, love. So, what do you say, my lambkin? Yes. Who would have it any other way? Now, take this for your final trial. Soak the cloth with a maiden's blood. Normally this ritual would involve killing one's own maiden and recanting the wisdom of the two fingers. But since you are maidenless, the blood of anyone's maiden will do. Okay. There you are, my apprentice. Shall we commence the lesson? What's this sorcery, my apprentice? Ah, then you have seen Master Azure. Master Azure was a founding Glimstone sorcerer and my first teacher, a stern judge of men. But he must have seen something in you. You make us both proud. We can speak more later, my apprentice. If you recall, I was exiled from the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. It was for attempting to restore the primeval current of Glinstone sorcery. The toothless pedantry peddled by the Carian royal family can rot for all I care. I want glinstone sorceries that open our minds, unbound by terrestrial taboos, no matter what we give in return. My apprentice, I presume nothing. Teacher and student are not bound to tread the same path. But hear me out, my apprentice. I need your help to restore the primeval current of glinstone sorcery. Perhaps this is a journey we could take together. Hmm. Splendid. I thank you. This pleases me. It's been far too long since I found a fellow kindred spirit. You must have a fabulous teacher. 
I need your help, my apprentice. Master Lusat is another founding Glimstone sorcerer. And like Master Azure, he was banished from the Academy. Now he languishes in prison somewhere. My apprentice, can you find Master Lusat? With this Glimstone key, you should be able to cross the boundary that encloses him. Mm. I need him to restore the primeval current of Glimstone sorcery. He's nigh a child of the stars, such as his body now. After his expulsion from the Academy, I heard that Master Lusat returned to his home, a place called Celia in the eastern Caled Wilds. Mm. Thinking about it, I obtained the Glimstone key I gave you from a Celian sorcerer. It wouldn't be too much of a leap to suppose he's still cooped up nearby. Okay. Time to solve Felon's quest. Uh, where was this dungeon? Uh, maybe it was Altus Plateau. No, this is all not there. Hmm. Crystal Tunnel. No, it was silly and can you? My apprentice, I have a favor to offer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After his expulsion from the academy, a place called Celia. Celia. Eastern Caled Wilds. Ah, Eastern Caled Wilds. It wouldn't be too much. The form you see before you is merely a projection. My body lies elsewhere, but the academy shackles prevent it being moved. My body is on the Weeping Peninsula at the southern tip of the lands between. Yeah, I saw it there. Imprisoned in the ruins just down from the Church of Marika, past the plain of the Wandering Mausoleum. Can you make the journey to my body? I have something that I can only trust with you. My body is on imprisoned. Can you make... I have something. Okay. Yes, where's the Kaelid? There it is. Sell a crystal tunnel. Yeah. Oh, whatever. Okay. Nice. Hello. <sighs> Stars of ruin. Cool. Now let's go, I guess, to the well, let's double check with her first. Who could have guessed? What a place to find Master Lusat. You have my gratitude. This is all your work. I am truly pleased to have you as an apprentice and a kindred spirit. This is a mere token of my thanks. Please take it. Okay. This thanks. brings us a full step closer. The bodies of Masters, Azure and Lusat can be admitted to the Academy. If only I could undo these wretched shackles. Okay, okay. We can do that. Yeah, where is this guy? Is. Hmm. 
Hello. My apprentice. Thank you for coming. These shackles take a toll on us all. There is something I need you to look after. My primal glimstone. A star has fallen and my fortunes waver. Someone may come for my life. <coughs> so I entrust it with you. Myself. Interesting. So, what do we do next? Do I get back to her? Uh, okay. Probably I needed to talk to her more. Huh. to see the champion of the festival here of all places <laughs> you didn't know Selen, did you well whatever the case she's dead now just put it behind you she was known as the graven witch obsessed by the primeval current countless sorcerers fell to her hand the most dangerous mage in the entire history of Rhea Lacaria's academy. It is strange, though. The woman, she was like a husk. Her soul already fled. I suspect Selen lives on elsewhere. I'm sure she'll turn up eventually, in another body, a sickening thought. But one that won't stop gnawing at me. Sicken. Hmm. Okay, so I just have to guess that I need to get uh, the salaries uh, on the ground. Okay, we can do that. Is it this one? Yeah, uh, probably. How was I supposed to know that? My apprentice. Just how long has it been? Thank you. You've helped me fill a new body once again. And it's truly a gem. Young and full of vigor, a snug fit for my primal glimstone. Better still, I've shed those awful shackles. Finally, I can return to the Academy to expel the Karian royal family and restore the primeval current, my dear apprentice. I owe this all to you. Hmm. Huh. The challenge Selen? No. To assist Selen, yes. Bringer of my 
it down. Hello. Ah, my apprentice. You've saved my skin once again. Do you see this? The Queen of Caria is no more. With the bodies of Masters Azure and Usat returned, the Academy can hone the primeval current. So that we, fallen children of the stars, shall beam with brilliance once again. My apprentice. Will you stay with us, here at the Academy? Oh, I know it's not possible. You have your own calling. Yep. To be the next Elden Lord. But do think of me, of your teacher. On the eve of your crowning, you will always be my darling pupil. Rest assured that I... No. The entire Academy mm. will swear allegiance to the new monarch. My apprentice, become Elden Lord. That's pretty good, I see. Perhaps I'm jumping ahead, but here is a symbol of my allegiance and the Academy's. Mm -hmm. Do you recall what once I told you? That glimstone is the amber of the cosmos and sorcery is the study of the stars and the life therein. When you become Elden Lord, please illuminate me. Lay bare the secrets of life which cause the Elden Ring. Next time, I will be your student. I like this lady. Oh, one last thing. If you fail to claim your throne, you can always pay me a visit. Oh, don't fret. Even my dullest pupils will always have a place here. <laughs> I really like this lady. She's nice. Short spiral. I will buy that. Just for the sake of collection.